Hi my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium oracle and prophetess you guys which means I use the cards to connect but I don't need them. So anyways if you have found this channel um, through the YouTube algorithms through your news feed or you know your 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 suggestion feed um, it's not an accident. It was absolutely meant for you to find this channel and me okay. Um, more than likely you are someone very special. You are um, a sensitive and intuitive and empath, a psychic, a medium, a, a warrior of light, right? Or maybe you're just someone who has recently um, started awakening, right? And you just feel kind of lost or maybe you need some guidance. Maybe you're on a twin flame journey, right? And you're just like, ah, I don't know what's the truth, you know? Um, you have found a channel of light, a pillar of light, okay? So welcome my loves all right so um if you feel guided subscribe hit that note or you know hit the notification bell so you get notified when i go live when i upload new content um and of course claim this energy and message is yours by liking the video um but leave your energetic like imprint on the channel with me this is gonna be um an emotional message from the divine masculine to the feminine today okay um they're they're giving me i i was feeling very like um i wore all black today and i felt like a sense of a mourning right like johnny cash style like you know they in the movie you know it's like you look like you're going to a funeral you know johnny you look like you're going to a funeral maybe i am you know it's that the divine masculine is going to a funeral now for some of you guys maybe you're actually at funerals if you are i send you love okay maybe if you've lost someone um close to you maybe the masculine has recently lost someone close to you for some or, or close to them for some they have because spirit is telling me this is the case um let me just pull on it real quick uh it, it, it's the case because and it, and it actually it triggered Okay, they've, they've lost something or someone for some of them and it was a trigger because it got the wheels more like spinning, right? They were already going, but then they had this like moment where it was like, oh my gosh, like what if I lost my feminine? What if I lost her or him and I never had the chance to, sorry guys, I'm full channeling and I'm like, ah, I'm gonna try to stop. Um, but it's just like the energy that comes through so I get really like, you know, um, what if something happened to them? This is what I mean by emotional, okay? Um, I'm very much, I'm seeing like obituary, uh, I'm, I'm seeing like obituaries, right? So maybe, okay, here's another thing. Is this masculine, some of them, they actually are like, they, they read the newspaper, they pick up the newspaper, or you know, they get like a local, you know, review or something like that. Um, and, there's an obituary section, okay? And somewhat, how, some way, they saw this obituary section, all right? Or maybe they were compelled, okay, by by spirit, right? To to open up, to look at, look at it, right? Because it was a seed that was an activation that was like this, you know? Anyways, it was this trigger. It was like just connecting in that way. And it's funny that all of this is coming through, okay? Because before the reading, like a little while ago, um. I felt called for the collective message. Excuse me. I'm so thirsty all of a sudden. Um, just drink a lot of water, you guys. Um, especially if you're like following me on Instagram and you're uh, receiving my light language transmissions that I do, you know, like in my story and, and stuff. It's, it's really, you know, powerful stuff. And, um, those of you who have donated um, during a live, um, you know, I've been keeping track and sending out Reiki healing, okay, to you and also channeling light language uh, over you and to you, okay? Um, so it's powerful stuff, you know? Um, and it takes a lot out of me too, you know? So I appreciate you guys. So I just want you to know, all right? Um, but anyways, I was called to do the Divine Feminine and it was Sekhmet, Sekhmet, Kali, okay? And it's funny because it's like all this death energy is coming up and I was like all in like my, my black today and it was this energy of grievance and mourning. So going back to that, the Divine Masculine is going through, there's been a death in their life. 
Now, this is death of the ego, okay? It could be death of relationships. And it could be actual, like, losing people, all right? Maybe they lost someone close to them recently. And it just kind of gave them, it gave them this jolt um, that, again, was like, what if something happened to, to my person and I never told them how I felt you know I never got the chance or I didn't do it right because I was prideful or scared or you know afraid of rejection or you know so I didn't do that you know so it got all these thoughts going for them okay I know it I can feel it and I'm gonna pull on it Sekhmet the red lady okay and I've been channeling the red lady the red the red the red right the feminine as the red but this is that energy right here. It says, I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. This masculine is learning to transmute energy. They're learning to, I just saw flashes of like little like orby things right here. Um, they're starting to transform this pain into their power. They're transmuting energy. They're understanding alchemy. They're alchemizing. Kalima, the mother of the universe. I release all that doesn't serve me. Look at her. She's released all. She is the mother of it, right? The death, the rebirth, the, you know, the release. Going to the dark places. The rage, the anger, the pain. The, you know, all of it. Going down deep and facing that shadow and then transmuting it into your power. That's Kali Ma. I release all that doesn't serve me. It's time to be the truth of who I am. Stepping into their truth. And then we have Yamoja beautiful i love her energy you guys the goddess of all that flows yesterday i uploaded a reading and it was you know the yin it was flow water i am ocean of creative energy i give birth to what exists within me so there's this massive death rebirth um Galactic heart activation. Look at this. Look at the look at the light shining from both of these fem of these of their chests. <laughs> Goddesses, ascended ones, right? All of that. Massive explosion of activation in the heart area for the divine masculine, for their feminine, okay? They feel like they are grieving. They are mourning the separation at this point. They are grieving the loss of this connection. They are watching you and looking at you and seeing you and going, <sighs> what did I do? But here's the thing. Everything was meant to be this way. I'm going to get the hood to you real quick, you guys. Sorry. Show us the tea. I call this the hood tea. Fire Witch Tarot. I love her. She is a bad bitch, okay? And she's on um, Instagram. Here, she's got a channel on YouTube, TikTok. She's everywhere, you guys. And she has so many amazing decks, you guys. On Etsy. She has an Etsy shop. She has candles and all kinds of cutesy fun, like, stuff. She's... I love her energy, all right? So, oh, see, all of a sudden, I feel like I have to burp. This is a huge purge. This is what this is. It's coming up from here. It started here and it's coming up from here. You guys, I know it's like whatever. Some people might be like, oh, gross, whatever. If, if that's the case, you guys, you're not ascended enough for this channel. I'm serious. <laughs> like, no heart feelings, but, you know, you're getting there. But, you know, those of you guys who know, you know, you know what I mean? It's, it's this air that needs to come up and out. And what is air? Um, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it's, it's communication and truth. Thoughts, fake flexing. You see, they've been fake flexing. They've been like walking through life, you know, in their life, in their connections. Like, oh yeah, life is great. I'm so happy. Ba, 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 ba. Acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off. Okay. So I feel like for some of you guys, your person tried showing you that side of them or like tried putting on that persona because that's what they thought women want because that's what usually women do want from them and like, you know, oh, I've got this, I could pay for that, oh, I've got this, you know, blah, 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 you know, and yeah, okay, great, that's wonderful that they are 
you know, self-sufficient and independent and they can hold their own. But see, that's the thing. They didn't meet someone. It's like you, there it's like when they met you, it was like holding up a mirror to themselves. They were like, you, you, <laughs> you know, like you, you know, like I'm on you. This is no, there, mm. it was suspicious. Scorpio investigative to be done with the Scorpio again with the death energy Kalima you are Kalima you know you you embody all these goddesses all of this energy here played out look at they're going everything in my world is played out look see their death they're mourning the life that they've been living they're mourning all of it at this point everything's played out except for you okay legal issues okay so some of them they've been dealing with a lot they've had a lot on their plate for some of them they've been in the legal systems 111 on the timestamp you guys they've been um they've just feel they okay here's the thing they felt like they were dished a big plate of like imbalance and unfairness and it was a real test okay from the divine just like you had your test they had their test they had to They had to learn to be open. See, their stubborn energy, their closed-mindedness, their closed-off energy, their, you know, nope, this is how I am, this is who I am, this is how I live, this is what I do, right? That's what, like, the universe was like, no, no, mm -mm, no, actually. Um, here, go, go get the Divine Feminine, call her in, call her in. And they called you in, you know, you know, it was your divine moment of destiny, the stars aligning for you guys to meet. So all this can transpire between you guys. Right. And it did. They, they lined it all up, right? It was manifested. It was all lined up and happened when it was meant to. And you guys met however you met, whether it be, you know, um, through friends or they just walked right up to you in public and were like, you know, can we talk, you know, like, Hey, um, or on, you know, in, uh, Instagram or, or Facebook or, you know, a dating site or something. I get a lot of like social media energy. Okay. So it's like they, you guys saw each other and it was like, click zing. It was the zing, you know, look at, see obsessive lover, always partying, moving on. Thank you. And next. So this is, you guys, this is the tea, right? Like this is the hood tea, right? Her tea deck. What's the tea by Fire Witch Tarot on Etsy. Um, There's children involved here. Okay, they're dealing with someone, an obsessive lover. Now they could have dealt with obsessive lovers in the past. This is fucking toxic ass karmic energy. She is literally holding a gun and like, you're not going anywhere, dude. Um, And obsessive, controlling, crazy. It says karmic. Dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessiveness, and karmic. And then the children's services, you know. <sighs> unstable partnerships, you know, maybe children witnessing uh, arguments and toxic situations, you know, all of that. But they've been doing something over and over and over again, okay? So something has, ha has happened here where the divine masculine is going, you know what? Child services, they come in and they like take control of the situation, you know? And sometimes, most of the time, right? I hope that it's like warranted and very um, on good, you know, good standing and it's, it's, it's what's meant to happen. And it's not the parent just like, you know, some mix up and like the parent losing their child, you know? Um, I know that the systems like this are very unjust in a lot of ways. I do know that. I can feel it immediately. And I feel like that's also why we have the legal issues, you know. I feel like for some of you guys, you know, your DM, whether it's a woman or a man, they're a good father, mother, right? Um, they love their children. It's like they're, you know, they're, they're, they're everything, right? And they have awoken and they've started to see that their actions, their own choices that they're making in their life, in romance and dating and relationships and love, 
it's very dysfunctional. It's not good and it's toxic and it's a cycle. See, they've awoken to a pattern. They see now, oh, oh, whoa, I, okay, okay, different person, different person, but same behaviors, same traits. They act crazy. They get, you know, wild when they drink. Um, I get a lot of that kind of energy. Someone who's a lush, someone who likes to drink, someone who's like trying to keep up with the men, someone who, right? Toxic karmic energy can all be like that, you guys. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> so the DM is, uh, see, always partying. Exactly. I forgot that was out. And then what's this other one here? The Forcer. Oh, I didn't see that one. They're forcing their way out of this. They're just like, I'm done. Forces things on you, forces their way in, force, use force to get what they want. They are forcing their way back into your life, you guys. Now, of course, you have your free will and all that, right? But they are, like, making this happen. There's, like, no way that they're going to not. What they're feeling is just too much. It's overwhelmed, you know? Um, there's definitely someone here who feels intimidated by you, threatened by you. By your energy reflecting there's been a lot of reflecting a lot of people also like could be a woman too who's like reflecting on you thinking of you and this person is a spiritual hater so you know hates on your spirituality your light and your magic and your power look and she's all in black too like me today could be a message for me too i know it is i know there's energies out there like that watching me on social media my channel they follow me from social media and then come to my channel and follow me and watch me, you know. It is what it is, you guys. I mean, I see it and, you know, I see it with my third eye. Many of you guys do too, right? So you know, and that's why when you watch readings like this, it's just confirmation for you. You're like, oh, yeah, I know, you know. I knew it, you know. You're like, I knew it. I knew it. Look, marrying for money. You see you see things. You know things, you know. Um, I have witnessed in my own life, you know um energies where you know i've i've known like oh this person is not good this person is not good i can feel it and um they have like ulterior motives in the department of money marrying for money look at all the money the coins right your person could be very stable very well off have a good career uh be entrepreneur right um and the energies around them are like it's like money bags is what I'm is what I'm being shown money bags so they look at it like yeah I kind of hit the jackpot because yeah we have chemistry and like we we have things in common and it's like all that right so they even mistake it for like destined true love too right but this is the lesson that's been learned okay so just that anyways but the masculine is now seeing this, right? They're seeing that this karmic, okay, a lot of them, right? Now, it's not all of them, but yeah, there's some of them out there that are super fucking toxic and they're just all about money. And uh, you're like the absolute opposite of that. First of all, you are the empress. So you hold your own completely. If you guys saw the video I posted yesterday that I got from Instagram, um, I wish I could give a shout out to the girl who did it like originally, but you know, it's one of those things, person from a person from a person. Um, but she, that's what it is. It's that goddess energy. And she's like, I water my, my, she's like, I water my own garden. So it's always green, you know? And I'm like, yes. Anyways, that whole thing is fucking amazing. It's a short, so go watch it if you haven't yet. Um, but this karmic energy that's being released here is, um, it's, uh, been trying to cock block first of all it's really been trying to keep um the masculine away um but they've lost their chances okay they've lost their chance but i feel like um i feel like also that there's been a lot of like you know to the masculine from the karmic and friends and people like that um where they go yeah divination abuser someone has gone to get readings and as this comes out this is all about look divination abuser someone as who's a cyber bully some of you guys had to block these karmics you had to block these karmics because um their energy was evil eye it was evil eye and you felt it you knew it um trust me guys i've blocked plenty of people 
because I know it, I feel it, I see it, I can see it, I can hear the conversations, I'm psychic hearing, you know, clear audience, you guys, a lot of you guys are too, I can hear it, yeah, so I just block, block, you know, if you get blocked and like you followed me, like, there you go, <laughs> unless you're just a creeper, and then, yeah, if you're lurky and you're creepy and you're weird, I'm gonna block you, if you give me, I, I feel energy, so you could, you know, try to put on a front or whatever, but I, I feel it from a higher energy, you know, so, um, happiness hater, you see, they know, they know, um, I feel like the cyber bully, um, is, I feel like some of these karmics went and got clarification, I feel like they went and got clarification on the connection, um, your guys's connection, like they had an intuition about what was happening behind the scenes. Maybe your guys' past together. The DM wasn't being fully honest with like your guys' connection. Things like that. And they went to a reader, right? And the reader was like, yeah, that's the case, you know? And um, when they got some type of confirmation, and now they could just be watching readings on YouTube, things like that. Um, maybe you're even a reader. Maybe they watch your stuff, you know? Um, but it says, you know, it's like when you're being bullied online, um... And what I get from this is that it was like posts that were meant to trigger the divine feminine, but you guys are in such a high frequency, it never would, you know what I mean? Um, and it just like ricocheted on them, um, you know, in the end. So repo, carless. Now this could be a literal repo, carless. The DM could be paying for their car payments and be like, look, like we're not together anymore. You're going to have to start paying your own bills, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, I've been helping, but it's not, you know, I feel like that's it. But also repo is taking something back, right? Taking something back. They've taken back their love. They said no more second chances. You've, I'm done. We're done. Um, the DM is done with the illusions, right? And putting on fake smiles and friends. They no longer resonate with that. They see fully now that this energy was really trying to block you guys. Because your DM is feeling this on like a higher level now, okay? So they're seeing this from a higher perspective as well too, you guys. Um, so... Let's see here real quick. I'm just going to get a romance angel real fast. Children. See, more children involved. This is their inner child. Your your essence being in their life. Yeah, look, two children back to back. A boy and a girl. You guys could have twins. A boy and a girl. Okay. Spirit babies on the other side, though. Your children that you're meant to have together are guiding you guys in the spirit realm together they are ready to incarnate spirit clarify the spirit baby incarnation that i'm channeling at this time look winter it says detached hibernate contemplation go within silence rest the holidays celebration think it over the end they're saying it's t it's the end Okay, winter time could be a very special time for your union, but what are we in right now, right? Summer. By the time you guys come into union, I feel for many of you guys, you're gonna, these babies are incarnating by winter time. They're incarnating woo, by winter time. Sag season, Cappy season, Aquarius season, Pisces, right? Like going into spring, and then you get two. Yeah, so some of you guys, right? The year 222. Two, two but it's two babies. I just said, you're going to have two babies, twins for some of you guys, right? Or just a boy and a girl, like, you know, after another. Wheel of Fortune. It's about the forces of the universe. It's about fate, destiny, getting what you deserve, things that are out of your hands, you know? I'm hearing massive surrender. This DM is just like, you know what? I know what this is for me. Yeah, see? They're like, I know what this is for me. I'm just this is my, this is the one, this is the one, you know what? I want to go, I need to build a home with this person. I want to settle down roots. You can buy dirt, right? Let you buy a ring, let your knee hit the ground. You guys, oh my God. Okay. Right. If you guys, uh, oh my God, my mind's going blank. Right. But the song is called buy dirt. It's a country song. All right. It's one of my favorite songs and I love, 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 love it. Um, but I've been channeling this for my own self coming into my own life very, very, very soon.
Find the one that you can't live without. Buy a ring, let your knee hit the ground, right? It's all of it, you guys. It's all of it. So, my loves, look, there's there's this massive storm that's been brewing, right? And it's finally, it's coming in, okay? So, um, I wanted to just do, the snake is showing up. I wanted to just do um, kind of like a quick read. Um, I'm going to record another one after this too. I think like a part two, but I have to, um, record some more personals, you guys. Um, so, but I wanted to like, kind of give a little something here, um, real fast. The third house perception, an absolute perception, perception shift. Threes are going to be very substantial at this point for you guys and your connections. Jupiter, again, expansion mansion. You guys are expanding. This is the wheel of karma destiny again ruled by right all of that the first house self the masculine is choosing self so and when they choose self love it's you okay so anyways you guys namaste love and light i will see you guys in a bit i just wanted to upload a little something for you guys for today okay for saturday Saturday. All right. So namaste, love and light. Um, thank you guys all for joining me to book a personal, to order one of my handmade um, Lemurian seed crystal quartz pendants. Okay. Um, or to sign up for my personal one-on-one -on -one tarot lessons with me. You can uh, find all the info below. Just send me an email. Okay. These guys are infused with magic and light language, you guys, and it's super powerful and activating. Okay. So mm, love and light. Bye.